Here are five different effects you need to know in DaVinci Resolve to master animating AI images. 3D camera. Use a 3D camera to create dioramas of your AI compositions to reveal subjects in dramatic ways. So starting with a new fusion composition, first we want to grab our 2D images and then attach them to 3D planes to turn them into 3D objects. Merge them together with a 3D merge node. Now just as a good standard practice, I like creating another merge 3D node followed by a 3D camera node. If we add a render node, it'll turn our 3D images back into a 2D render, but you can see there's nothing there. If we have a look back here, it's because we need to move this camera backwards so that we can see what's going on. Now to adjust the positions of these images, we'll use 3D transform nodes. And we'll drag this forward until we have a composition that we like. Now to create this parallax effect, we could use the transform nodes to animate everything in, or we can animate the camera for a global movement. Quick little tip, if you want to make these camera movements look nice, go to the spline tab, check the camera Z and X offset, highlight them and press S. Now we get this smooth movement. If you're feeling extra spicy, you can try using the enable accumulations effect to give your image some sexy bokeh. In the renderer node, turn the render type to hardware render and enable accumulation effects. To change where the camera focuses, use the focal plane settings. To get an easier control on to seeing what is in focus, in control visibility in the camera node, turn on focal plane to get a green outline showing what's most in focus. Use the quality and depth of field blur to change the intensity of your blur. Here is the final result. Light rays. Light rays is a super powerful tool to make your AI images feel alive. Any background images that have lights in them should be using this effect. This will give any image you add them to depth that not only looks great, but interacts with the objects around them. To use light rays, attach the light rays node after your composition. Use the controls to adjust to your desired preference, making sure the light source comes from the dominant direction. So here I'm obviously aiming for the sun. If animating, use keyframes and spline tools to match the motion of the light source. Depth Map. Using the Depth Map tool, we can make 2D images feel much more like something you'd see in a 3D world. So again, we're going to start with a fresh fusion composition. To create a Depth Map, we need to first create a 3D image plane node and set the subdivision to 40. Then we want to create a Depth Map node and attach the regular image to the Depth Map. Then we want to create a 3D displace node and attach the image plane to the yellow input. Now, if we take this depth map and attach it to the green, you'll start seeing what this effect does. Now, it usually comes out a bit janky, so to help smooth it, use these tools. Blur node to smooth depth. Color corrector to adjust intensity. And so as you can see here, what's happening is that the darker the blacks get, the more it goes backwards, and the brighter the whites get, the more it goes forward. So you can see that this phone's the brightest. You can see it's coming forward the most. Now with this as well, it's also really important to have a play with these sections here. So we can use the target isolation. We'll just take away that color corrector for now. We'll just have a look at what we've got here. So here I'm using the near limit to bring that phone in as it was a little exaggerated. Just use this blur to smooth everything out. So if we look at it from an angle that will work, and I'm going to use this color corrector to just bring down everything a little bit so it looks more like this. Now, we can have a look at this final image here, but we're not accentuating the real asset of this image. <clears throat> so here's how you can custom control the depth map. If we have a look at this color corrector, we have this and you can kind of see how they're related together, how it's pushing things forward. So if we were to add more white here, we could make this bigger. So here's how to do that. First, create a merge node under the color corrector. And then in here, we're going to create a background and set it to white. Now, when we attach this to here, you'll see that it's just brought everything forward. So now by using a mask with this background, we can now actively change what we're going to focus on. And then by just setting this to a soft edge, bringing it down to shape, give it a little rotate, even soften that out a bit more. So now we have a slider that we can use to change the 3D depth of different parts of our image. And then finally, when we're done, we want to use a render 3D node to turn this back into a 2D image. And if we have a look back at this merge slider, there you go. But what if you want to match two completely different colored shots together? Well, there's a really simple process for this in DaVinci Resolve. 
So here we have this shot here with our lovely Bob the Builder and we want him to look like he belongs in this background. So to do this, we're gonna need both our images separated on the timeline. Now this won't work with the fusion composition. So like this one here where it's animating in, so just for temporary sakes right now, we're going to grab Bob the Builder and throw him on the timeline like so, and then disable this color match and go into the color page. Here we want to select Bob the Builder, then right click on the image we want to color match and simply choose shot match to this clip. And just like that, we now have this. Now to apply it to our fusion composition, open this back up. We just make sure we have them all enabled on our timeline. And then we go into here and we want to grab a still of this, then go to our fusion composition, which is this node here, which you can see like that. And then we just want to go apply grade. Just like that, we've now applied the same color grade across. And now Bob somehow found himself on an alien planet camera shake. Now there's so many things you can do with this effect so you should definitely check this video here where I show you how to use the camera shake node to maximum impact with a step-by-step -step tutorial. Until next time I'll catch you all around. Bye.